everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my MLB 20 The Show, New York Mets franchise. This is episode 4. Before I get things started, I just want to mention two things. Um, hope you guys are safe out there, hope you guys are healthy, taking care of yourselves during this whole Corona or COVID-19 situation. It, you know, obviously, it's all over the news, it's all over social media, it's taking down a lot of our lifestyles because, you know, we just have to make sure that we don't spread the infection anywhere, spread spread it to our loved ones, you know, just be responsible out there, be safe. Um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet like that. And the second thing is that, uh, shout out to Seth the Orange, another fellow YouTuber who said he's been watching my stuff for a while. Um, and he, you know, he covers mobile gaming and um, he's been, he's just a new, he's just a new YouTuber. So check his stuff out. He's also going to be doing Xbox videos. And probably going to be doing a Friday Night of Freddy series. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to leave a link somewhere in the description. Check them out. Um, and here we go again for this April 16th game against the Braves. We are just going to try to complete the sweep. We are 10-8 and 8 and they're 8-12. and 12. We have Steven Madsen on mound. So I'll see you guys in City Field. Running to the Marcel Ozuna. Two men on. Got him with a change of inning over. Matt's with a little trouble there, but getting out of it with a strikeout. That's a shot by Alonzo. Deep center field, and it's right at the warning track. Damn it. That's a good base hit by Nunez. He's on with two outs here in the second inning. There's something of pitchers that always get base hits off me. It's crazy. But that's a base hit by Soroka. Here to start the third inning. Come on, man. Really? We can be double play ball. Out of second. Out of first. No way. Well, that call looked like Come on. Job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time. That's a good shot by McNeil, and it's like that last one. gonna be a double at least. And get down gonna hit the there, wall, and it's gonna be a stand-up uh, double for Jeff McNeil here in the third inning. What I love right there is just the freedom in that pack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the base. Oh, come on. Really? As it should be extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second. That's his second hit of the ball game. This one. See the run. It's going to be 1 nothing here in the first. He's going to be at first. Sinker, you have to throw it, but he's gonna have to get the ball. Out second. Yeah. Out of first, around the horn, double play to end the inning. Preventing from that second run from scoring. Good backhand by McNeil. Good turn. At second base. Formal launches into left field. It's going to hit the wall. It's going to be a ground rule double for Michael Conforto. Finally, some base hit, a base hit for the Mets here. Come on, Eduardo. Little base hit. Drive him in, tie the game. A blooper. And it's caught. It's going to tie things up. An RBI single for Eduardo Nunez. Let's go, man. Come on, Robbie. That is a home run for Robinson Cano. That's his first home run of the year. And that is a three-run shot. Going 410 feet. That is the hit that we needed this game. And now the Mets are up 4-1. Here in the sixth. And the Mets open up here. Take a look at our replay here. Yeah, he is kicking himself right now. 
Mm. Perfectly timed. There he goes into the stands. That could also be a home run by Conforto. Driven to, driven to deep right field and it's out of here. Off the deck. Off the second deck. Michael Conforto with his fifth home run of the year going 367 feet. And the Mets are up. Five to one. Got a hold of that ball. And I think it's time for Soroka to get out of this game. Back to back home runs for the Mets. Oh, I'm leaving all these pitches out there, man. Back to back doubles for the Braves. Now it's five to two. Oh my gosh, another base hit. That's a bad throw. Come on, man. Oh my goodness. Seawall, let's get a single out. And just like that, things are 5 to 4. Guys, are we like kidding here? And just like that, things are tied up. Holy crap. No outs. Four runs driven in. And the Wolves for Pete Alonso continue. He's batting sub 170 right now. Are we kidding? Edwin Diaz. Bro. Oh my gosh. Of all times to do an error. Ball game is over. And we lose 8-5. to five. The bullpen gives him 7 runs. Seven runs in like three innings, I think. It was just horrible effort by the bullpen. And put the losing streak behind it like professionals are supposed to do. Wow. 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 17 hits given up. Unreal. Just when I thought I had this sweep, I didn't. Sure, I gave up seven hits with Mats, but I gave four straight hits with Seawold. They got four hits with Diaz. Come on, guys. That's just unfair to Steven Mats because he did pitch a one run game through six. Unreal. Unfreaking real. Um, anyway, that just irritates me. But now we're going to be simming. Let's see, it's going to be. Who's the next? Strowman. It's going to be Porcello up next. So we simming all the way through here. So through dates, we lost. One lost. Okay. Come on, guys. So we lost back-to-back -back games against Milwaukee. 1-1, one, one, lost 1-1, one, 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 lost 1. It's not the way I want the season to go so far, but it is what it is. going to be facing the, the NL East leading Miami Dolphins, who are 14-10. and 10. We're going to be facing Jose Urena, Urena who is 4.2 ERA with a no-win-loss record. Um, I'm going to have Rick Purcell up on the mound, who's 1-2 with a 2.08 ERA. So hopefully we can get something out of him um, as we wrap things up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my MLB 20 The Show in New York Men's Franchise. Don't forget to click the like button. Leave any comments below. Hope to see you guys soon. Peace.